Hey guys, it's Naples and welcome back to the Western Wilds. Um, yeah, I was not really planning on starting this recording just yet because I'm just doing some uh, jobs around the farm. I gave the sheep some food, I just gave them some more water. Uh, chickens already have food. The cotton field isn't even ready to harvest just yet. Um, but yeah, then I had a look at the sale. And this thing popped up. Now, do I need it? Um, probably not. Do I want it? Hell yeah. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy that big mower. It has a 10 meter working width. And our current setup, the mowers over here, the yellow red ones, also have a 10 meter working width. So yeah, it's basically the same. Uh, but it's a self-propelled mower, so yeah, I don't know. I just like it. I think it's a cool machine. It's very expensive, but now that it's on sale, I think it's worth it. Especially since we have uh, 842,000 euros, so we have a bit of money to spend. I'm just gonna drop my weight off over here and I'm gonna go sell these mowers. I'm just gonna buy this thing real quick. Uh, wheel brand, I don't think that really matters. Just your preference because the setup is still standard. Um, sure, buy it. 177,000 euros. And normally it's, um, yeah, 380. But that's uh, quite expensive. So I think we saved, I don't know, 50%-ish, something like that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these mowers. I mean, don't... oh shit. Okay, that was stupid. Uh, I was gonna say, don't get me wrong, because uh, these mowers are excellent. But yeah, having a all-in-one machine just makes it a bit more easy. All right, I will see you at the store. All right, so both mowers are dropped off over here at the store. We're gonna repair them and sell them. 23 euros to repair. Almost a thousand to repaint. Quite expensive. Alright, sell this one and sell that one as well. There we go. So we almost have 76,000 euros back. Not bad, not bad. And here it is. Our lovely new purchase. Yeah, I think it looks awesome. Just gonna back it up to the garage. And get it fixed up. Because as soon as the grass has grown, I'm gonna mow it again. Because the cows are getting through their total mix ration quite rapidly. Alright, there we go. Lovely. Oh, Jesus. It's quite uh, tight steering as well. Alright, well, I'm gonna get this uh, back to the farm. And then I'm gonna do some more jobs around the farm as well. And yeah, when the cotton is ready to harvest, I will bring you guys back again. Alright, we're back. As you can see, it's August. And would you look at that. The cotton is ready to harvest. Looking lovely. Excellent. But first, as you can see, the grass is also ready to harvest. And I'm definitely gonna need some food for the cows. So I'm gonna try something... Um, of which I do not know if it's possible. I'm gonna try to use a tether behind this mower. Let's see if that will work. Would be uh, ideal. Saves me another job. Alright, let's see. Everything has been unfolded. Let's turn it on. Everything is on lower okay that has been lowered
Can I also lower this? Yes, I can. Alright, there we go. Let's see if this will work. It does. Would you look at that? Lovely. It does destroy my swath a little bit. I'm making a neat swath and it's making it a bit wider, but that's fine. We've got a huge machine anyway, the baler. Oh man, this is perfect. Lovely. Not really sure why that small piece over there in the corner has been missed by the tether, but that's fine. Oh man, this is excellent. Should have bought this mower way sooner. <clears throat> but yeah, then again, it is very expensive. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna get this done. And I will see you in just a few seconds again. There we go. That is the entire grass field done. And it has been turned into hay, so that's good. Uh, turn everything off. Lift it up. Yes. And the machine as well, please. There we go. Fold everything up. So yeah, it's not, uh, not perfect. It's not pretty. As you can see, if I... Uh, did a little bit of a tight steering, the tether would bounce all over the place. But that's fine. Disconnect. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna store the tether back in the shed and I'm gonna grab the baler. And I'm gonna create some hay bales. Alright, here we go. I don't know how many bills we're gonna get. It's probably less than the previous time because I have not done any extra nitrogen application or did anything to the pH. I have not spread any lime on this field in between cuts. But then again, I don't need a enormous amount of hay. Just a few bills to keep the cows going. Next cut I'm gonna do silage. Because I wanna have a good amount of silage and hay bales to create the total mix ration. I also noticed the cows are now producing milk. So that's good. They are finally gonna make us some money. I think we have... 10,000 liters of milk. Oh, almost 30. Well, that's good. And if I remember correctly, the price should be uh, pretty decent in and around October. But that's gonna be soon. Well, I think that's the majority of the hay picked up and built. This machine is also not perfect. It's missing bits here and there for some odd reason. That's fine. The job is still a lot faster than when you do it separately. Alright, turn that bad boy off. Unload all the bills. And fold it up. 
So yeah, that's still quite a good number of bills. Alright, well, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I'm gonna get the bills uh, put into storage. Is that one big swath that I missed over there? Let me just double check real quick. It does look like it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get that into the baler as well. And then I will bring you guys back when I'm ready to start the harvest on the cotton field. Alright, so that's the hay bales done. They're in the shed. Now it's time to get the cotton machinery. Ah, uh, Case or John Deere. Why is that almost twice the price? It has more horsepower. This one has 20,000 liter capacity. This one has 10,000. Makes round bales. Same working with. I'm going to go for this one. Why? Because it's cheap. Go for fat tires. I could buy it, but I'm going to lease it because it's a one time thing. There we go. Look at that. Now that is one mean looking machine. Holy hell. Alright, time to get this to the field. So here we are coming up to the field. Ready to start the cotton harvest. Uh, let's see, it's been a while since I've used one of these. Also in between uh, traveling from the store over here to the field, I also gave the cows some more total mix ration because they were almost completely out of food. Uh, let's see, so that's all I did. Lift up the roof. Now we are ready to start. Do I have to lower? I do. Turn it on. There we go. And that should be it. Let's get started. Bit of a stutter, but yeah, there we go. Lovely. The cotton is going in. Right, very nice. Also looking at the width of the machine and the size of the field. I think this is going to take a little while, but that's fine. I know this is going to bring in a lot of money. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to handle those big bales. Uh, I hope I can lift them with my uh, front loader tractor and put them on our own trailer. But yeah, I'm not sure if that will fit. Maybe I can just lift one bill on the trailer and then the trailer is full, I don't know. Well, if needed, I can always rent uh, some cotton trailer. That's not a problem. There we go. Uh, let's see if it will take this row as well. Nope. Just barely missed it. I think I'm gonna be here for a little while, so I think I'm just gonna start up some music and I will see you in just a few seconds.
right, so we are about to create our first bill. We're at 99%. Here we go, 20,000 liters. Almost. There we go. We're full. Uh, let's see, how do I unload that thing? Also, I'm not sure if you noticed in the time lapse, but there are some parts that show as harvested, like this. But as you can see over there in the top left corner of my screen, that still shows like a white stripe. Uh, that means that piece has not been harvested. Oh yeah, that's a bit odd. Alright, uh, let's see. Unload baler. Oh, I can also turn on automatic drop. Okay, that's handy. So we are about one third of the way, I think. And it took me about 12 minutes, something like that. All right, there we go. So here is our first cotton bill. How much is it? Cotton mass, four tons. Hmm. I think the tractor should be able to lift that. It's heavy. That's for damn sure. And I'm definitely gonna try. Turn that bad boy off. Don't wanna increase my um, working hours on it. Just gonna get, get this tractor in the field real quick. See if I can lift it. Maybe it's not even possible with the uh, pallet forks. Uh, most definitely not. No. Do I need the uh, bale spike? Oh, that is not good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try the the bill spike that I have. Okay, that does work. At least it's uh, registering that I have cotton. See if I can lift this thing. Oh yeah, I can. Perfect. Look at that. It's a bit front heavy, that's for sure. As you can see, if you make a quick sudden move, you tip over. But that's fine, we can lift it, put it on our own trailer, so that saves us a bit of money. Alright, well, looking at the size of the bale and, <coughs> and the size of my trailer, I think we can only load one of them on it. Oops. I immediately crashed into the front of the trailer. There we go. That should do it. I was thinking about maybe I can fit one sideways on the back, but I kind of doubt it. Oh man, that's almost perfectly centered. Can I strap it? Of course I can't. Hmm. Yeah, that trailer sometimes has a bit of trouble with strapping things that are too close to the edge. If I can push it on a little bit further doesn't want to strap or maybe it does it shows in the bottom right that I have 20,000 liters on the trailer when I unstrap it disappears so I think it's working all right just gonna move this out of the way turn it off turn this one off as well there we go and now we can continue with the harvest. Alright. I wonder if you can still unload a partial bill. I know you could in the past, but... Or at least in the past, in the previous game. FS19. I think it was possible to unload a partial bill. Alright. We're gonna keep going. 
Uh, I will also have a quick look to see when cotton is at its best. Because I don't remember. Yeah, I'm gonna do that strip later. I don't want to be missing bits on the other side. I'm gonna spin around real quick. And there we go. So yeah, when is cotton at its best? Uh, let's see, cotton. I think I already missed it. There we go. Uh, it's at its best in February or in October. Hmm, I think we gotta wait. It's quite an increase. 49.02. Best price. It's a bit better than wool. We are now in August. Oh, that's the worst possible time to sell. Okay, so we gotta wait until February. Sure, that's fine. I don't know where I'm gonna leave those huge bills. All right, here we go again. Looking at the field like this, I seem to have missed a few bits over there. I've been going in an awkward line. Well, I will just keep going straight and get that piece later. Then I will just spin around again and get him. Oh, it's only one strip. Okay. Oh, I think this is going to take me some more time. Well, that makes sense. Alright, get that strip over here. Yeah, as you can see over there in the end, I missed a strip and there was something over here. In this corner as well. I'm not sure if I got it all. I tried. There we go. Yeah, the good thing about this job is you don't have to unload every five minutes, which is pretty good. So even though it's a bit slower or smaller working with, it's not as slow as you would expect, which is good. Don't want to take this, uh, don't want to have this job to take hours and hours. Alright, well, maybe I will just start another time lapse or I will jump cut until the next bill has been produced. Anyway, I will see you in just a few seconds. Here we go, 99%. Second bill. It's about to come out. Here we go. Perfect. Well, that already makes 40,000 liters of cotton. And we still got a little bit to do. 
I think this is gonna generate quite a bit of money. Which is very, very good. Exactly what we want. Alright, well, uh, this time I think I'm gonna make a quick little jump cut. I'll be back when I have finished the entire field. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to create another bale. We have two. Maybe we can generate three. <clears throat> Who knows? Man, this machine is getting <coughs> dirtier by the second. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a frog in my throat. Uh, Alright, let's keep going and I will see you in just a second. Alright, well, here we are. Final piece of the field. And we are done with the cotton harvest. And there we go. We are finished. Turn it off. As you can see, we have created another bill. So we have three bills in total. And I have almost five and a half thousand liters in the harvester itself. Which I hope I can unload. Let's see. Oh yeah, perfect. Here we go. That is awesome. So that means that we have all cotton build up. Yeah, it's uh, five and a half thousand liters. And it still weighs four ton. Same as this. This is 20,000 liters. That seems odd. Alright, well, we've almost used this machine for one hour. So I'm gonna return it. Don't want any, any hourly fees on it. So there we go. Cotton harvest complete. Um, now it's just a matter of storing these bills somewhere. I have absolutely no idea. Maybe I would just leave them outside somewhere. I don't think that's a wise idea to do that in real life. But yeah. This is not real life, so we can just drop it anywhere, but yeah, I wanna I wanna be realistic. Well a little bit realistic. Uh, there's no space anywhere. Even with all my new sheds I'm just running out of space. Oh well. That's something for me to figure out on my own. For now, I think this is a good time to end today's episode. So, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want, you can subscribe for more. As always, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.